Mission Archives 1, Shrima Crest and a cut above, guys. I do think it's a Shrima Crest. Oh, I get a two-star Talia. We have to take Sh Shrima Crest, guys. Wow. Because I already have two Talias. And the fact that I find this mother trucker. Two of them as well. Man, you know my team is just too expensive. I mean, I'm definitely selling this trash lord, right? My team is too expensive. I can't even level. I must make it count. And then I just go with Nasher's tooth. Bruh. Oh, I could have leveled. There we go. <laughs> I forgot it's Glass Industries. Nice. Glass Industries. Very good. We get the monies. GG. For making items, you get three gold. The classic. Is there any Ezreals? Because they get a huge advantage. There's two Ezreals. Wow, okay. They get a huge advantage on this because they get bonus items. Well, if they took their augment, they did. Yeah, they certainly did. Because they're not dumb. I mean, we have a Shurima emblem. I already had two Talias. So I have to take the Shurima emblem. It gives me a two-star Talia, which is going to hopefully win streak. And we have the, Z uh, the Nasher's Tooth. Yo, bro. Okay, that, I mean, that's just cheating. That is cheating, guys. We can just pack it up already. Oh, look, he's the little, he's the little scuba diver. Does it just keep spamming infinite bubbles? He just spams bubbles for free? He just has infinite dish soap? Spams bubbles? For free? It's definitely Baldur's Gate. I don't know, man. We need two more. This looks like a video. Hopefully. Okay, so we need nothing. Nothing. The thing is, this girl is pretty freaking awful. Unless you're playing her exact setup. Where she, you know, double trouble Talia. You play multiple Talias. They knock up the enemies. And her passive is the strong part, right? Her stone passive. So without all of that, she's a pretty bad unit. You know? So I get two-star Talia here. Like, look. Look! Okay, but how didn't she even ult a single time? She didn't ult a single time. She's only physical. What the frick is she doing? No offense. Like, what even is that? Does Nautilus trigger her passive? Exactly, yeah. You you play double, no double Talia, double Nautilus, double set. They all knock up, they all trigger her passive, it's very strong. It's very nice, but uh, she needs to be fully enabled. Someone is just spamming him because he's full opening and the other guys are playing uh, Piltover. So they're mad. Hey, <laughs> get Shrek, little guys. Oh man, I just get some free wins. I'm trying to win streak and I just get some free wins against Piltover and against the guy full opening for a reroll Kale. GG. Not too shabby, guys. Really good position to be in. So far. <clears throat> we can easily go 6 Shurima here. We go Azir with Nasher's Tooth. It's his best item now, I would say. I think it's better than Ginsu's on him. But you want both, I think. But yeah, Nasher's Tooth is definitely uh, what makes Azir so powerful right now. What am I doing here? I just want an item. I just want to complete the item, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna go for the for the Gargos. It's a good item on Nasus. He is the 1v9 tank. 6 Shurima. He becomes super strong. If we can get 9 Shurima, it's GG, right? If we somehow can get that. Also, guess what this is? It's a movie caster. Now pretty much nothing can stop us. I get three gold as well. Now nothing can stop us. I would love to sell her to make 20, but that is way too greedy. Way, way, way too greedy. I barely win against him, I think. I think I easily win against him because he's a one-star Shoga. I easily win against him. Everything is one star. This is a free win. Uh, it's the free win, okay. 
putting them in the back so the gargoyles get solo focus so we get more out of the passive. Get more resistances out of it. Is Nasher's percent AP a typo? It has to be. There's no there's no item that gives you percent AP. It has to just be a typo, no? Every item gives you flat AP. Why would it give you percent AP? It's just a typo, yeah. <clears throat> well, there used to be percent AP, right? I think on, on, on Rabadons or something. Okay, what do we need for six Shurima? We just need one of the four costs, so that is impossible. That is impossible right now. I pretty much got two star my whole board for free. Absolutely free of charge. Four free. This guy's gonna get obliterated now. He's got a lot stronger actually. I think I'm more scared of this guy than this guy. This guy's a free win still. No one playing Shurima this game so far. We get the free win, okay. Twenty-four gold and a full win streak. That's looking good. We can definitely reach level nine this game. Oh, they're fighting. The two piltover players are fighting each other. Very good. One of them is gonna get the um, lost streak cocked. That is hilarious. That is a funny fight, though. One of them gets the lost streak cocked. This guy, GG, get get that lost. Not really, he's still in a good position, right? I mean, I'll buy this, but I don't think you want it. There's a freaking Kai'Sa, you know? Uh, is pretty good. I'll, I'll buy her for now. I don't want to sell the Irelia. The Irelia is good. Two star is a lot of tankiness. Pretty sure we sell there. Uh, I could go Static Shiv with this. That's pretty good. I can also go Redemption, which is very good. So we have a lot of options. This is amazing. Now and forever. Do you think it's better than Talia? Uh, than, than Irelia? 1k health. I should. I don't think I'll solo frontline it, right? Ooh, he's strong. He's not that strong though. He has a lot of items on the bench. He dies, he flops over. I really I wouldn't die, you know. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I still win this, right? I have double caster and multicaster. Should be okay. Should be okay. I like I, I'm just gonna yeah, I'm just gonna knock up. She's going crazy with her attack speed. It's multicaster, okay. Not too shabby. There's another multicaster. Maybe he's better because he deals more damage. And this worthless Sona. Gifts from the Fallen is very good here. Classic. Gifts from the Fallen with Shurima. It's a force. Bilgewater Strategist. Strategist, we can play this for sure. Uh, I feel like we just play this, no? We just level and play this. Because it's another Shurima unit that benefits from the trait. I just sell these two. I win, I make 50. Game over. Honestly, this thing dying fast is good. Because we get the... We get the Darkened Dagger onto somebody. It's actually pretty good. This thing dies fast. I'm just gonna give her ult so she can ult a little bit faster. Or a tier so she can ult a little bit faster. Level, uh, level 5, easy win. Easy win. 
if I win the next one, I go level 7 here, I roll down, just to keep the win streak. And then we can keep the win streak the entire game, maybe. If we find 6 Shurima. 6 Shurima is so strong. I need to buy a new Talia, because I need to sell this one and move the items. I'm not sure what they're spamming, bro. They just keep spamming. Kinda cringe. Is it always the same guy as well? It's always the same guy spamming. Whatever, man. Who cares? Alright, I have a new Talia. I'm chilling. Let me see if I need to change sides. It wouldn't be bad to change sides here. He has a carry or Yana, I should be okay. He has some very intimidating Chugat items though. So I'm not sure if I can get through that. The Chugat is in my backline as well. That's not good. But he's feeding me mana. My Jarvan is still alive and kicking. I think I lose this actually. That is just very unfortunate, yeah. Unless the Shurima thing goes crazy. Alright, we, we don't level now. We don't level now. Hopefully we can get another Shurima emblem somehow. That would be the best. I'm last pick. I am last pick. Fine. I just go Bramble Vest or something. I can go Bruiser here instead of uh, this. Is that worth though? How much damage is she doing? Man, she's doing almost as much as this, you know? Like, it just really shows how bad Talia is, right? Unless you're playing her in the specific comp. I don't think it's worth leveling. I don't think this is worth. I'll level next turn though. This guy already cashed out. I'm gonna lose to him, I think. He has some two stars. I think it was a mistake switching to Jarvan, man. I should have just bought him and leveled. Because he only ults once anyway. If he, if he has the Gargoyles and the, the Shurima emblem, or if he doesn't, he's only going to ult once. If he's naked or if he's not. He's always going to ult once. He can never ult twice, so... I think it was a mistake uh, itemizing him. Should have just kept the, the Irelia. This is worth, because I, I'm still almost at the... Like, I'm still 40 gold, right? It's, I'm still really rich. This is worth buying, I think. Or uh, playing. Because at least I can win this fight. Get a double win streak into Krogs, hopefully. Ah, this guy just cashed out. I hope I'm not against him. I am, in fact, not. He is level 7, though. He has a Mordekaiser. He has a Jarvan. I'm not sure if I'm winning this one, but his whole team is Turbo Clum. So my Jarvan... Oh, his Jarvan got stunned! His ult got cancelled. I think I win off of that. Actually, the, the Mordekaiser is too strong, isn't it? He doesn't have lifesteal, but does it matter? Oh, he got CC'd again. Okay, I think we win, unless... Oh, he has a rise? Wait, I, I just need to ult. I just need to ult, okay. Big, huge. He has a rise with Zon already. All right, GG, game over. Game over, I got a free Azir, I, I win now. I, I, I don't even need to go a level, uh, I don't even need to roll now. I can just literally keep leveling now. We don't need to do anything. I'm just gonna chill, I have a blue buff though, that, that is, these are some disgusting items. Truly disgusting. 
Yeah, I mean, this is game over. Like, this this is just game over. But the, the items are actually disgusting, though. Wow, the items are so bad. Um, I can go Shoujin. I can go Shoujin on Silco. I can just play a random Silco, go Shoujin on Silco. Shoujin on Silco. I know I can go Protector's Vow, but I don't want to go for it yet. Because if I find a Silco, I want to go Shoujin, but I still want Static Shiv. Because I don't have a Rod, so I can't go I Ionic Spark yet. So I want a Static Shiv. So if we go, if we go Protector's Vow here, we only have one tier left. <laughs> can we play something with a blue buff? Shurima Ari. Oh yeah, true. I should just go blue buff on Sil- Ah, it's even worse. Oh, Ancient Archives 2. Oh, a spatula. I can build the Shurima emblem. And I get two random components. This is much safer than Ancient Archives 2. Should we YOLO the archives? I have 10. It's not worth. I, I think I just take this. I can just craft it. And we're chilling. You need a rod? Yeah, but you think I'm not gonna get a rod at some point? Oh, nice, I get static shit. And then I just level here. And then I just sit, right? I level and sit a little bit. I probably roll here. I level and sit. Duplicated. I should. I should have just duplicated, man. What am I doing? Bloodthirster Nasus. I actually like Bloodthirster Nasus here. I could go in Ionic Spark. No, I don't need Ionic Spark anymore. It's Bloodthirster Nasus, man. Bloodthirster Nasus for sure. I should have uh, duplicated Azir. That's a huge mistake. We can save so much HP. It's all about saving HP now because all I need to do is reach level nine. All I need to do is reach level nine. And find Kasante and hit 9 Shurima and the game's over. Luckily we didn't get punished, we still won the fight. Very lucky, very lucky, not deserved. Not really deserved. Okay, so I just go BT on him. We get 3 more gold. And then, I don't think... I mean, I, I can go uh, Protector's Vow now, right? Protector's Vow now is fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We get 3 more gold, we can sell... We can honestly just... Okay, I mean, we just duplicate this. And we can just sell this Talia if we win. Hopefully we win. Ooh, what a clean game, man. For free. I got everything for free, guys. And Bloodthirster Nasus is good, by the way. Bloodthirster Nasus with the other two tank items. We get rid of Jarvan later. Or we get a new one. He just gets the Shurima emblem. Look. He has a Radiant Nasher's Tooth, and I still won. And we sell this because we have another Talia in play, and we don't need a two-star Talia. It's not really an important unit, we just get more money, because we just need to reach level 9. Because 9 Shurima is a busted. And sure, I need to get a Rod, but I have a chance here to get a Rod, and here to get Rods. So if I don't get a Rod, it's really unlucky. What can I tell you, man? That's about it. I think it's more... It's more, it's higher likely to to get the rod at some point from these chickens or from this carousel than it is to get a freaking, uh, what's it called? Holy frick, that was lucky. He almost took it. Um, it it's hi more highly likely to get a rod from this than to open the two books, man. The two books have burned me so often. I like them at the start of the game, because at the start of the game you can play anything. But later on, you can't. I mean, this is just deserved. This is just fully deserved, guys. Deserved! Deserved! And then we can play uh, Shurima Aatrox. I love Shurima Aatrox. And then we can play Shurima whatever the frick, man. Who, gives, who cares at that point? We get two Darkin as well. Man, I love Shurima, man. 
I just love nine Shurima, man. I would let you have my rod too. Thank you, man. You wouldn't take the rod from Carousel? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Oh, man. Such a nice guy in the Twitch chat, guys. Such a nice guy. He would let me have the rod. Wait a second. Wait, this guy is so strong. Look, I mean, it's zero gold, right? He spent everything. He fully committed. You don't need multicaster? Yeah, but what else is there? What, what else am I going to play? I mean, now there's something. But like, what, what, what else was there? You got to pay attention. If there's nothing, there's nothing. Also, I should spread it a little bit. I should spread the Ari a little bit out, you know, so she doesn't get uh, cucked. We spread her a little bit, guys, just a little bit. What? How many Azir players? Yeah, isn't it lucky that I got this two star so easily with the duplicator? What, what did he take? He took this. Well-earned comfort. Your units gain 120 health and 8% attack speed for each item equipped. It's kind of good though, because 120 health with the last stand, where you get armor magic resistance and attack damage. Oh no, you get only vamp. Okay. That's still good though, still good. Do you want me to help you spread that Ari? Guys, I just moved her from here to here. I don't need help for that. Look, it's so easy. Don't worry, man. I don't need help for that. I don't know what you guys are saying, man. You guys are putting some cryptic messages today, man. I don't really understand what you're saying. Kinda, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned, guys. Guys, look how easy this fast nine is, man. Like, I'm already rich. I can literally just sack one. I'm 40, I'm 35 health, and then I don't lose a single fight anymore. And I can guarantee to find uh, Cassante or... Not really, you can never guarantee anything. Giant Slayer? Oh, wow. Wow. QSS? Uh, Ginsu's though. Ginsu's Infinity Edge. Alright, we'll take it. I will take it, brother man. Ginsu's Infinity Edge. Alright, we sack one. We sack one to have really infinite money. Uh, Infinity Edge on Aatrox, guys. Infinity Edge Aatrox. And it's game over. I just need one Cassante. One Cassante, and it's literally game over. Guys, that's a lot of three stars for stage five. That is that is one of the luckiest boards I've seen in my life. That is a ton of three stars, guys. That's actually ridiculous. I'm glad I'm getting really lucky this game as well. I'm very glad. I have 40 health, in fact. It's really good. You should put Talia on bench. No, I shouldn't. There's nothing else to play. Oh, frick. Two, I mean, two star dad is also good. Can I get one Cassante? Hello? I'm a boomer, but it's fine. Um, I don't need this. I have magic pen. I don't need armor pen that much. I don't need this here. Uh, that's this guy. I honestly, if I win this fight, I sell this Belveth. Belveth is much worse than Aatrox for my team here. Aatrox gives me really good synergies. I didn't find a Cassante. It's kind of crazy. Give it a buck 50. It's kind of crazy that I didn't find Cassante. I still won. That's cra That's actually crazy. Wow, 12k damage. Yo, don't scam me, bro. What What the frick is wrong with you, man? All right, GG. Thank you. I'm just gonna lock, right? I don't need to sell the guy.
I don't need to sell the guy, man. I'm just gonna lock. I need to sell uh, Scion. Because Scion 2 is gonna be my last upgrade. And I, I, I don't need to... I don't, I don't need the Aatrox 2 to win this fight. I guarantee you guys. Look, it's not even gonna be close. It will not even be close. My Shurima is beyond busted. Look. My Nasus lost half his health. That's all he can do. He can do half my health on Nasus. Nasus is never gonna die. Ascend twice. Like, it's beyond busted. I can go for Juggernaut. That's actually pretty good instead of Scion. Who cares? I mean, Boozer is kind of good though. Oh, never mind. There's a Hodge. Did he really just take the Hodge? I mean, what am I gonna do? I can go Deathblade. I think I'll just go for, for Juggernaut. I think it's actually the best. Yeah, who cares about Bruiser? Bruiser is 200 health. I have 100 health on everybody. I think it's just this. I can go Juggernaut on him. We just need one Juggernaut. Anything. Okay, go free freak yourself. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, four Juggernaut is better for sure here. The Scion. <clears throat> because these guys are the shining stars, right? These two. Aatrox and Nasus. Especially Nasus, guys. Bloodthirster and Nasus is actually one of his best items. Because he actually does really decent amounts of damage. It also gives him the shield. So he does... It makes him much, much tankier. Bloodthirster, don't be afraid to go Bloodthirster. Like, look at this Nasus. You see this Nasus? 3k damage. Uh, the best Juggernaut is gonna be the, the Nautilus. There's a 3-star Nautilus, so... It's gonna be a little bit difficult to find it. Alright, I mean, this is game over. No, nothing they can do, man. I get a third item on this guy. And it's g game over! Okay, so against this guy, I wanna I wanna kick his guy. I wanna kick this thing. Hopefully we can. It's between them. It's a 50-50. If it targets this or this, I can't really uh, like. Yeah, it's always a 50-50. Nice. He targets this. Good. He's gonna kick it once, which is already good. He's not gonna kill it though. But I can focus the rest of his backline now. Nice. All right, easy fight. Yeah, 9 Shurima is way too much. Look, Ascend twice at combat start and after 8 seconds, plus 75% Ascension bonus. It's way too much. And I have uh, Gifts from the Fallen. 9 Shurima is basically Exodia, right? It's probably the best trait to get 9 off. I think it's better than 9 Demacia. I think it would win against 9 Demacia. And I think it is definitely better than 9 Ionia. Ionia is probably the weakest. 9 Noxus, I don't know. 9 Noxus is pretty good. Because you can go 9 Noxus uh, Aatrox and 9 Noxus Belveth. And Belveth benefits from attack damage and AP from both. So 9 Noxus gives her a huge bonus in power. stars am i i mean loki like I, I don't want this guy man like, the, the moment the other guy dies i'll find hodge is perfect right hodge is the best more crit chance for him a little bit more lifesteal he already has lifesteal built in but it's still good he's he's not gonna die anymore i i think the aatrox is gonna solo carry now I, I think nothing can beat this Aatrox. Look, look at the Aatrox. He's just killing. Every ult is a kill, basically. He just surrenders. GG. 6k damage Aatrox. Yeah. Disgusting, guys. Disgusting. Two star Cassante and it's over. I mean, it's already over, bro. Alright, very nice. <laughs> he, 
He's trying to cash out one more Piltover juicer here. Oh, he's almost at three star. Wait, yes, he, he has lost ten. Oh, frick. Oh, I can still lose. He moved the guy away, which is very smart by him. But I don't think it will matter, frankly. As soon as I get this Aatrox, it's just way too powerful. I think I could go AFK now. I'll just come back in three minutes to a win victory. Look, 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 look. He's just killing the backline by himself. He did 8k damage, bro. Like, you just can't kill him. He's not even losing any health. Every ult heals him back to full. Look! It's a demon, bro! Okay, by the way, that guy is gonna hit 3-star Aphelios. Oh, wait, he isn't. He only has, like, one. Oh, he has nothing. Wait, we're chilling. It's not even close. Can I get a 2-star Cassante, bro? Alright, whatever. Alright, I'm against Lost Stand. He just proc Lost Stand. He's actually strong. He, he proc Lost Stand. He has... Eh. Like, he's pretty freaking strong. I will not reposition. I'll just chill. Let's see if he can beat me. I don't think he, he can. Oh, it's bugged. Look, look, look. It looks so... Yeah. <laughs> it looks so uh, intimidating. And then it just shrinks. I already saw this bug once. I... The first time I saw it, I didn't know it was a bug. I thought it's like a 15-star TX. I pooped my pantaloons, guys. Absolutely soiled them. Had to take a fat shower afterward. What? Wait, he got close, no? He killed my Aatrox. I mean, the Aatrox will just revive at the end and then just kill everything. Like, it, it, there, there's really no escaping it. There's really no winning against this. The best item here is by far Edge of Night on Kisante. It can make the difference between him kicking somebody out and not doing it. So that is by far the best. Edge of Night Kisante, very, very good. So now we can just try to kick somebody out. Now if I reposition, he's basically dead. Like, there's no way. Now he can't win. If I if I focus her, it's GG. It's it's instant game over. Okay, GG. It's a 50-50 if I focus him or her. But now it's already GG. Like he's gonna kick her. Like look, Edge of Night makes it so he can't die. So he just kicks her for free. He got stunned by the way. He got bugged. He got bugged. He he didn't kick again. But you know you know what I'm getting at, right? Alright, GG, 14k damage Aatrox. The best Aatrox you can basically get is this... Uh, well, honestly, Noxus is probably better. Because he scales off of AP on his lifesteal. GG, guys. Subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.